A valid sense of self-worth is necessary to attain love, peace, joy, power, and the sound mind. Without self-worth, doubts and fears about our very existence will persist until they invalidate our dreams and vision and undermine our greatest accomplishments. One day, one of us saw today in the wavering flame of the candles as we studied late into the night. Uh, one of us could dream whatever she wanted and she was certain that it would come true. We chanted it as we walked to school, challenging norms, traditions and biases. Some of us wanted to be like people long stocking. And some of us was really impressed how much a little girl could be. Some we reached out, grabbed it, and held on to it firmly, choosing not to let go. Many of us at the time had expectations of simply becoming housewives, working in the home. One of us had a desire to see the world. One of us was taught all the problems in the society from the ground up. Most of us, as children, were socialized in an environment in which we were encouraged to reach for the stars. Some of us wanted to become nurses or flight students. Most of the time, we didn't know what those stars were, but we reached for them anyhow. Should we hold on to our traditions or should we keep our voices? Most of us are just looking for a way to have the best of both worlds, to keep our families and to keep loving our loved ones. It took a while to, to prove ourselves and to be accepted, but no one thinks about these things anymore. Some of us who work for the agriculture work in the fields, reap, seed, so, give education to children, but still not appreciated. Some of us thought that, how can she become a police officer when she's not strong enough, when she's not strong as a man? Some of them went into building. They, they got into construction. They became carpenters. Most of us wanted to be princesses, but none of the boys wanted to be our prince. Many of us who chose to have careers, um, I think, have paved the way for the women that follow us now. One of us had to find out that the man she thought was her fiance was getting married to somebody else in the newspapers. Some of us thought that the women inside the burqa were used to the situation, so they didn't mind. Many of us who chose to do this must be considered as pioneers. One of us, throughout high school, had her mindset on being Mrs. Michael Jackson. Most of us coming from Pakistan, we don't have that developed environment around us. There is a so-called glass ceiling that is supposedly created by men, but I think many women, at least in the early days, contributed to the creation of that glass ceiling. Most of us recognize that equal opportunity for women and men supports economic growth and helps to reduce poverty. Some of us, or most of us, are considered to be witches. So we take the broom, we take the cat, and some of us fly off to a place called the Blue Pit. Some of us, now part of the UN, can do today more than we dreamt possible.
all those nights so long ago. Some of us have never been there, so some of us will never find out what's going on on the Blue Hill.